I can't find my glasses. I looked under the bed, looked in the bed. I'm not inside the bed, I mean, in between the covers. What I did with them? Oh, I must have stuck them in my pocket at some point last night. In Texas last night, a fertilizer plant exploded, and some of you have emailed and reached out to me by way of Twitter and Facebook to ask if Diana's okay. She is okay. She lives in a completely different part of Texas. Texas is a big state, but again, I would like to express my sincerest condolences for those who were killed and their families. As we were watching TV last night, Wicket decided to regurgitate on this top blanket. That's where I'm going to be again, in the sky, taking a transatlantic flight. I mentioned this in the vlog a few weeks ago, but it's a part of the British Airways Ungrounded Project. You can go ahead and look in this video's description for a link explaining more about it. Essentially, it's a hundred thought leaders coming together on a plane and solving problems while we fly over the ocean. And then we're going to present solutions to problems to the UN once we get there. It's kind of exciting to be a part of it. And I get to be the social reporter. I think that's the official title. Uh, I'll be recording video, having various conversations with other people who are going to be on the plane. And of course, I get to record what's going on during the flight. And I think I'll be able to upload it, if not on the flight, then soon thereafter. So uh, stay tuned for that. It's, it's going to be kind of exciting to be a part of a solution instead of just complaining about problems. Sorry about that, I swear it'll never happen again. What are you trying to hide from? You can't escape the vlog. This hoodie is much more comfortable than the Spider-Man hoodie because, you know, I'm, I'm not afraid of Wolverines. Not afraid of Spider-Man himself, just spiders in general, which I realize is kind of strange for me to be wearing. Now that I think about it, I might want to burn that hoodie. Thank you, Taylor. I appreciate you watching the vlogs and loving them enough to quote me on Twitter. Guess what, little buddy? My skill sticks came in. They still exist. I don't know why I wanted these so badly when I was a kid, but I did. Vlogging is all about telling stories, and Daniel Brown created this image, sent it over, and I thought it was really kind of neat. Do you have a story to tell? You can tell it at Vlogger Fair if you'd like. I tell stories every day. In fact, I'm exporting my next story for YouTube right now. How do you keep from accidentally drinking the tea bag when it doesn't have a string on it and you still want it to steep in the water? Any other ideas besides using chopsticks or lightsabers? I'm brainstorming bullet points for my keynote presentation at PubCon in New Orleans next week. Beyond content, be yourself. Organic engagement can't be cheated. And what I mean by that, you like this vlog enough to like it sometimes, to share it, certainly, and at least to watch it. That can't be cheated. Views on YouTube can be cheated. Subscriber counts on YouTube can be cheated. But when you actually take action on something, that can't be cheated. It's organic. It's priceless. But what is it about that content that makes it invaluable? Dropping pickle juice all over the place here. I'm going to smell like pickles for the rest of the day, and if I'm not too careful, my home office will smell like that for the rest of the year. I think it's time for me to get bifocals. I had to 
slip my glasses to the end of my nose in order to see all the text on my screen. And no, I'm not going to make the text on my screen larger. I'm, I'm just going to have to upgrade my glasses. Just how hot was this hot pepper? That hot. I made Wicket pinky swear that he wasn't going to do that again. Of course, since he doesn't have a pinky, I don't think he is legally obligated to uphold his end of the bargain, which really wasn't that much of a bargain to begin with. I'm freezing in Texas today. Yesterday it was almost 90 degrees, and today it's about 40. It's really cold. <laughs> Someone thinks I'm videotaping them, but I'm actually videotaping myself. <laughs> Anyways, just wanted to say hi. Well, that doesn't look good. Oh no, looks like the storm last night blew over these porter potties. And why we have random porter potties in our town is another question. Hopefully, no one was in there. going to be some sort of fear here. I wonder if I'm invited. I'm meeting up with a couple of local vloggers, the Templemans, and one of them caught me doing this while recording TLDR. That was from the broadcast at live.perillo.com. And <laughs> I had to explain that uh, I was doing it because I'm preparing for an interview. It's not to say that I prepare for all of my interviews by using social lubricants. I'm rinsing the sauce off my balls. You haven't even touched it! It's, uh... It's a square. Or... It's a ladder! Or... I can play tic-tac-toe. And one thing's for sure, doesn't take much skill to put these things together. As someone who has shared so many bits and pieces of his life online over the years, I've found video to be stressful uh, to do, but also very freeing. Because there's so many things that you can express in video that just can't be done in writing, and that is my background, uh, English education, that's my degree, but I never actually did anything with the degree other than, you know, pursuing the idea of being an infotainer, uh, starting out by using my writing skills to communicate a lot of my discoveries with people online. That evolved over time, and certainly when video became a viable means of communicating, uh, you know, I, I moved to that as well. But all the while, keeping the idea of that personal narrative very much as a core part of what, you know, allowed me to connect with people who were out there. That was a lot of fun. I just spent the past half hour talking to a group of young female entrepreneurs. I'm one out of three of those, neither young nor female. Have you not had your fill? <sighs> Pixie, does it really taste that good? Do you mind not breathing in my face? Thank you. I'm recording this now in case I get stabbed and mugged. There will be video evidence. Okay, safe so far. That's probably the best reason to vlog in public. No one wants to come near you. That would be some mighty beer cheese soup. Even though I've already had one beer and I'm about to start another. I'm here with the Templemans. And Templemans, would you mind introducing yourself for those who may not be familiar with who you are and what you do? I am Terry of the Templemans. We vlog as well. Dailyvloggers.com. Dailyvloggers.com. Good place for our YouTube channel. I'm Tammy. I'm an ornament. I didn't see any like hook coming out of your head. But... It's a reference from uh, the movie The Doors. Wicket wanted me to tell you that the Templemans are geeks like us, so you should absolutely subscribe to them, and always remember to like and share our videos. Yes, please.